So I'm here with Aoife. Aoife, on the eve of the last game of the World Cup, the sun is shining, the atmosphere here is good. Obviously, unfortunately, we're not going to the next round, but it's been a wonderful experience. How have you rated this World Cup and the whole experience of the tournament? Uh, the whole experience from start to finish for me just has been absolutely amazing. Like I came over here to Australia from Ireland around the 18th of July and just because my sister's over here from Sydney. Um, so meeting her and all her friends as well has just been amazing. And then obviously the match, in, the match in Sydney was just absolutely ridiculous. Like, you know, it was just stuff of dreams. And then we followed the girls then to Perth as well. So the whole experience itself has just been absolutely unbelievable. And like all the fans as well, like out today, you know, in the sunshine. Um, yeah, so hopefully the girls in green now can do it again tomorrow and we'll just see what happens. How much would it mean, you know, for, for our pride and for everyone's morale to finish our tournament with a win, our first World Cup win and get those three points against Nigeria. Oh, 100%. It would be absolutely massive. Like, Nigeria themselves would be going out for a win because they're obviously going to be clutching for a round of 16 place as well. Um, but, like, you know, there was, like, even after Katie scored the last day, I mean, the crowd in Perth just went absolutely ridiculous. So, I mean, that was only for a goal. Like, if we got the three points, I think it would be just something so special. And then even just to bring that back home and even, like, all the soccer players, the young soccer players, boys and girls playing back home, like, to see, all, see the girls doing this in a World Cup it's just been amazing, so it would be absolutely like just amazing. Yeah, you, you mentioned the reaction to Katie's goal there. First World Cup goal for this team. I've heard a lot of people telling me that, that, that they got quite emotional. You know, how did you feel when that ball hit the back of the net? Oh, it was just like, it was just absolutely amazing. I mean, I've played soccer myself um, since a young age, since I was five. And obviously, you know, you don't really get the recognition like the boys team would do. Um, but like everybody in this whole stadium, whether it was like men, women, children, anybody in the whole stadium was just absolutely delighted for that ball to go in. And all the Irish fans back home as well, I feel like we're just absolutely delighted. So it's kind of like bringing, brought the whole country together. Um, so it's just been amazing. Like it's just been surreal, like the whole tournament itself. How proud are you of the girls and what they've achieved? Oh, just actually couldn't be more prouder of them. Um, all the work that they put in, you know, obviously even getting here, you know, beating Scotland. Scotland, you know that was tough itself and then obviously coming over here they've done they've done the whole country and themselves proud and all their families as well like even talking to their families as well when you meet them out like they're incredibly proud of the girls and we just couldn't be prouder of them and they really they really brought their a game against great opposition what do you think this team's ceiling is you know how far can they really go Oh, you know, hopefully now they can make it to the Euros as well, and then hopefully, you know, this is just a stepping stone into the next, into the next part of Irish football and even women's football itself. You know, hopefully this isn't just the ceiling. Like, hopefully, you know, the next World Cup will make it, and the next Euros, you know, we'll just keep on going and keep on, keep on moving and keep on developing as well. What do you think the achievements of this team are going to do for women's football? You know, for the little girls watching at home, seeing their heroes do this on the big stage. What do you think this means for the next generation of women's football in Ireland? Oh, it's huge. Like, even um, the France game before they went went away in Tala, like, obviously that was the biggest crowd they've ever had in Tala Stadium. And even seeing that, I'm sure the girls will have realised that, you know, this is quite a big deal. And, um, yeah, no, it's just going to lift the whole country and lift the women's game in Ireland. And hopefully the National League will also benefit hugely as well, the Women's National League. And hopefully more people will get out and support the girls, you know, Anya O'Gorman as well and Abby Larkin, you know, the two players playing in the National League. So hopefully... Hopefully it would just encourage more girls to get back into soccer, even if they've left it whenever they were 12 years old, because I know that's a big thing. Um, yeah, so hopefully everyone just gets back into soccer and just playing it for fun, you know what I mean? That's all it's about, just go out and have fun. So how would you rate your World Cup experience out of 10? Oh, 10. Couldn't have been better. Absolutely loved every minute of it.